Are you here? Eight, nine, six. Going once. Twice. All three right. times. Okay. Number three, Mike. Okay, number three. Lift Skin Care Set, an exclusive train cosmetic bag from Manatech. From Manatech. All right, number eight, eight, two. Eight, eight, two. Oh, it's over here? All right, okay. okay. We got a winner over here. All right. Okay, next is New Look, New You, with the GC for the complimentary hair cut by Danielle. All right, number nine, three, two. That's by Afterglow Hair Loft. All right, we got to go back to the flowers, Mike, but oh. this one here is nine, three, two for the nine. flowers. Oh, okay. Nine, three, two for the flowers. Nine, three, two. Do we have a winner? No? Okay, next one. Let's still do the flowers till we Still can. do the flowers. All right. 790. Woo! That's more like I it. I take it we have a winner. All right, the next one. Thanks for waking me up. Appreciate that. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, so uh, we have a large lady's black purse. Go of course it's the... a lady's black purse, yes. of course. Number 740. That's BCF Soccer 740, Club. let me know. All right, we have a winner. Okay, next one, Mike. All right, ladies, bracelet with sparkles, also from BCF Soccer Club. Bracelets that sparkles, that's good. 717. 717. 717. Going once, twice, three times, gone. Next one for the same bracelet is... Number eight five five. Eight eight five five. We right. have a winner over here. Okay, next one, Mike. We have another ladies bracelet with sparkles. All right. Also eight, from soccer club. Eight nine two. Eight nine two. Over here we have a winner over here. All right. Okay, next one, Mike. All right, this one's interesting. Soothing Eprazone with aloe gel and firm moisturizing rich body cream. Wow, that's a mouthful, man. I could use the rich body cream. I guess that's a good cream. thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Man attack. 730. 730. Going once. Down here. All right, All right, we have a winner. All right. Okay, this one we could use. Night out at the movies for two. Night out at the movies yeah. for two. Yeah. All right, okay. Local donor. 808. Yay, over here, we have a winner. All right, okay. Now, the next one, it's not just a black and gold bracelet, it's a stunning black Stunning black and gold. Black and St gold. Wow, all right. 703. And this is from BCF Church. All right, over right here from BCF Church, all right. Okay, next, next one. we have cream and gold trim cuff bracelet, also from BCF Church. Wow. Eight seven one, over here. Eight seven one to my All right. right. All right, let's keep going, right. Mike. Inspirational wall art. Inspirational also wall BCF art. Also BCF Church. All right. Nine seven. Did I ever tell you a story? No. Six. Nine seven six. Nine seven six. Do we have a winner over right here? All right. All okay. Right. All right. Next is. Be pampered in style with a soothing facial from Canadian Beauty, Beauty College. I can tell you're not used to that. Ah, no. Okay, no, no. number 729. 729. Right down here, we have a winner. All right, next one, Mike. Okay, next one. Bag of assorted hair care products from 247. No, that one is too easy. I'm not. 828. Eight. Right. 828. Eight. You know I did this to myself, right? That's, you know, shaved the head on my own. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, you go with that, Mike. You go with that. Eight, two, eight, none. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Same prize. Okay. Eight, seven, three. Eight, seven, three. Okay, we have a winner over All here. Right. All right. Next prize. Next prize is... Get organized with your very own Leeds Pad Folio. All right. From Region of Peel. Seven, four, three. Seven, four, three. 
I heard somebody go, you. I think they were just doing that for you. Oh, okay. All right. They like me that much, eh? All right, move on on to the next ticket. Same prize, 841. 841. Oh, wait, wait there? No, no, no. No? Oh, we're just in time. 841. Over here. All right. All right. Good. Okay, next. Multi-tone scarf with silver accents. Wow. I've got my own silver, silver accents. accents. You had me at silver, Mike. Thank you. Okay, 872. 872. All right, down here. Good. We the have a purple prize, Mike. scarf with accents, but we don't know if they're silver or not. No. Oh, wow. Also from BCF. All right. Seven, seven, four. Ooh. Seven, seven, four. Seven, seven, four. Going once, twice. Not sold. Let's Three go times. back again. Really? No. Same price. Right. Nine, two, eight. Nine, two, eight. Nine, two, eight. No? All okay. right. Same price. Third time is the winner. Seven, eight, five. Seven, eight, five. All right, over All here. Right. I told you the third time was the winner. Okay, next right. we have a gift certificate for a facial from Canadian Beauty College. Canadian Beauty College. You could use the facial. Eight, zero, three. Eight, zero, three. Ocho, zero, tres. Eight, zero, three. No? No. All right, same prize, same beauty prize. Maybe I'll take it if nobody claims it. Okay. Seven, nine, one. All right. All right. Another happy customer. I guess I don't get the price. No. Okay, next is Rare Pearls Fragrance and Bracelet Trio Set. A what? Rare Pearls Fragrance. You could use that. Okay. A bracelet trio set. Nine, eight, four. Oh, that, Nine, eight, four. That was an Avon gift. That was an Avon gift? Yeah, I'm not that, delivering that. That means you you're going to have to deliver no, it? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not delivering that one. All right, next one. Okay, Bluetooth portable speaker. Oh, now Form you're Form. talking my yeah, language. Okay, that one. All did, right. Did you put our name in there for that? Huh? That's right. Seven. Zero. Hey, Mike, did I tell you the story about two? Seven, zero, two. Over there. Over here. All, all right. right. All right. Woohoo. Okay. Next, we have a silver bracelet from a another local donor. A silver bracelet? Yeah. Wow. Not mine. Yes, yours. Take okay. it off and put it in the basket. Nine, five, five, nine, five, five. You have a second chance, maybe. Nine, oh, five, 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 going once, twice, three times. Back again we go. All right. All right. The next one for the same prize is nine, eight. Zero. Nine, eight, zero. Nine, eight, zero. Going once, twice, three times. All right, that's another hard Back one Back again. Hit. Hey, let's move here. We're it's going. It's not really Pastor Brian's silver bracelet. It's a lady's bracelet. Maybe it, that's why they're not maybe, coming up. Maybe that's why. Nobody wants my bracelet, but that's okay. Seven, three, seven. Seven, three, seven. Right down right. here, Eileen. All right. Okay, next prize. Okay, ProLine Professional Deep Fryer. A deep fryer? I, and it Are you sure very, we're in the it, right conference? It works very well. I tried it out this morning. <laughs> but it's all clean. I cleaned it out. Don't worry. We cleaned it out. Nine, eight, three. Nine, eight, three. Oh, look, Back somebody here. Likes, all right. Wow. Okay, <laughs> next one. Okay, next one is... Be still and know that I am God coffee mug. Coffee mug, all right. From BCF Church. Coffee included. Nine. Well, I don't know about that. Seven. Nine. 
979, back here, all right. All right, and we have another coffee mug, Grace and Peace Multiplied coffee mug, BCF Church. Eight, two, five. Eight, two, five. Eight, two, five, going once, twice. Over here, all right. All right. Okay, now Next one. we have a Praise and Worship Hillsong DVD, also from BCF Church. Very cool. That's cool, yeah. Seven, five, zero. Ooh! All right. You took the words right out of my mouth. Who likes Joyce Meyer here? Well, we got a DVD from Joyce Meyer from the BCF Church. Enjoy S great teachings. Seven, eight, six, seven, eight, six. Right down here, all right. All right. Okay, next one, Mike. You have come to l have life, John 1010 10, water purifier. Pitcher, BCF Church. water pitcher. Oh, pitcher, you're right. No purification there. <laughs> Jesus will provide that. That's it, all right. Eight, three, nine, eight, three, nine, right down here. All right, cool. Now, the next one I thought it said handcuffed Christmas apron, but it's handcrafted Christmas apron. Handcrafted, hand wow. Crafted. All right. Eight. Designs by Pearl. Designs by Pearl. Eight, two, six. Eight, two, six. All, All right. right, okay. Okay, next up is a knife block with sharpener. Oh, cool. Local donor. Cool. All right, get ready. Here we go. Nine, zero, eight. Nine, zero, eight, right okay. down here in the middle. All right, All right I see turn, that hand. I've turned the page. We're getting down to the, the final couple of wow. prizes. Anybody in the hallway that's not in here should probably come in now, don't you think? Uh, yeah. 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 All right. Spacious lunch bag. Love Spacious? It. Spacious. Wow. BCF Church. Eight, five, nine. Eight, five, nine. Right down here. All right. Hey. And the winning just keeps on happening. Water pitcher from BCF Church. A water pitcher. Nine, three, three. Nine, three, three. Over here on my left, your right. Far right. All right, now we got some more jewelry. Silver bracelet. All right. Nine, four, five. Nine, four, five. Okay. Right. Okay. And the wow, voices lots appear of, lots of from stuff the silence. On in the background. How about a multicolor necklace with earrings? Wow, okay. Nine, three, nine. Nine, three, nine. Right down here in the middle, all right. All right. Be Stand happy. up, let them Stand know up. where you Stop. are. Shout. Let them Scream. know where you are, don't be shy. Okay, okay Mike. How, about, how about a stunning silver bracelet stunning again? Stunning silver bracelet, all right. The stunning is what sold it. It's nine, seven, five. Nine, seven, five. Going once, twice. Three times, second chance at a stunning silver bracelet. Number seven, zero, six. Seven, zero, six. Going once, going twice. Oh, uh, right okay, here, all yeah. right, just under the Fantastic. wire, okay. Okay, next is pearl necklace, bracelet, and earrings from BCF. Uh, okay, seven, one, zero. Seven, one, zero. Over here, we have a Over winner. Over here, all right. Okay, next one, Mike. Next one is a book by Lisa Prevere, Lioness Arising. Nine, eight, nine. Nine, eight, nine, right down here, all right. Okay. Next one, Mike. Now, hair products, shampoo, and texturizer from 247. Texturizer? Texturizer. Okay. I don't think I use Does that. Does anybody know what texturizing is in, when it comes to hair? I, I think don't. that's the stuff you put in the paint to go on the walls, no? Oh, that's right. Seven, six, four. Seven, six, four. Seven, six, four. Going once, twice. 
three times. No one other. Gone. Let's go back for the shampoo and texturizer to nine, eight, two. Nine, eight, two down right. here. All right. Okay. Now we have some more hair products from 247. Curl activator and control. Curl activator and control. Can Still, we the, don't qualify. Can go with the texturizer. <laughs> seven, eight, seven. Seven, eight, seven. All right, right down here. Right All right. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Three more to go. Hair care variety package, also from 247. Seven, seven, seven. <laughs> All right, right there. Okay, second to last. Okay, right, we have another soothing Emprozoan with aloe gel and firm moisturizing rich body cream from Manatech. Nine, eight, sorry, nine, nine, eight. Nine, nine, eight. Nine, nine, eight. Nine, nine, eight. Going once. Twice, three times. Okay, okay. going back for that this same is the last. Sooth no, the same one, right? Oh. The soothing Emperor Zone. Seven, nine, nine. Seven, nine, nine. Nope. Going once? Yes, right oh, here. here. we are. All right. Okay, so this is, this, is this is the last one. This is it. This is it. What do we got, Mike? Uh, we have a perfume and cosmetics bag. By who? Prada? It says Prada on it. Ooh, sounds fancy. Shoppers Drug Mart Mountain Ash. All Mountain right. Mountain. Number eight. Five. Seven. Anyone? Eight, five, seven. Eight, five, seven. Going once, twice, three times. Don't forget, once not claimed, I get the take home. <laughs> seven. Three, eight. Seven, three, eight, right down All right, here right at the, the back. back. All right. Fantastic. Thank you so much, ladies. We have a great Have yourself a great day, and we are the men the in black, so we have to yeah. erase their memories so they'll never know we were here. Thank Fantastic. you so much, and Thank have you. a great day. Good morning. Are you awake? Why don't you all stand up? <laughs> Ruth's ready to do calisthenics. No? Do I have some women that are ready to serve God here today? Are you ready to receive what God has for you? Do you have your hearts open? Yeah. Are your ears receptive? Yeah. Are you ready to do what you hear? Yeah. Yeah. It's coming. We'll try again later and see if it's improved. Okay, why don't you just bow your heads. Father, we just thank you and praise you that you give us opportunity to come together that we can have fun, we can receive gifts, but most of all, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you that you sent him just for us, that he would come and touch our lives. So, Father, we invite your presence into this place this day. Just come and surround us and give each and every lady here exactly what we personally need so we can love you more, so we can serve you better, and we'll honor and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. The bride and groom in a wedding by a glass of sea. Oh, death, where is your 
Ladies, let's stand up to our feet, and we're going to sing holy. Holy, holy, are you Lord God? Are you Lord God almighty? Worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, worthy is, worthy is. You are holy, you are holy. Hallelujah. 
And the 
stronger 
going to sing and my God is greater. My God is stronger and my God is healer. Yes, you are, oh Lord. And my God is greater. And my God is stronger. And God, you are Why don't you just turn to the person beside you and say to them, arise. Now turn to the person on the other side and say, pursue. Turn back to the other side. Overtake. And now turn around to the person behind you. Recover all. So we are going to arise. We are going to pursue God. We are going to overtake the enemies of our life. And we are going to recover all. Why don't you sit down and just put your attention to the screen. join our prayer group. Lord knows we need prayer now more than ever. Amen, sister. Barbara and I just love to lift the needs of others up in prayer. Well, I appreciate your invitation. Well, enough of this chitter chatter. We got to get this show on the road. Now, I don't know if you've heard, but the Hendersons are in real need of prayer. Tom Henderson lost his job. Did you see Tom Jr.'s haircut the other day? <laughs> he looked like a porcupine on Red Bull. I hear Tom Sr. spends all day on the computer looking at the internet, watching videos on the YouTube. That's probably why he got fired. Oh, no, no, no. His boss caught him on the surveillance camera playing Texas Hold'em. Hold them accountable, I say. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing for housewives like us to have hobbies, but he is a man of the church. He has a family. He should know better. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know, I would like to lift up Verna Carlson. Oh, she has not been feeling very well. What? What's wrong with her? Well, I heard it was her weight, five pounds in one week. More like 15. Someone needs to tell her that eating ice cream will not save her demonic children. Oh, don't we know it? That little Jeffrey almost ruined the surface the other day, singing at the top of his lungs for all the world to hear. That's so wrong. Mm. I have a prayer request. Um, the Whitmans are going back to Peru for a month to build houses. Oh, they work so hard over there in that poor country. That's a good prayer request. They're such a nice couple. And her apple pie was the hit of the bake sale. Oh, yeah, but what about that V-neck sweater? I mean, if it had been any lower, well, I, I just didn't think that it was becoming. I noticed that, too. I didn't want to say anything. And let's not forget the dress that she wore last Easter. Um, I have another prayer request, um, for us, because, um, we're just sitting here gossiping, and I was thinking that, you know, 
we shouldn't be tearing down our brothers and sisters. We should be edifying them and lifting them up. So we should probably pray for ourselves. Well, I guess you're right. We should know better. Yes, we should. No, I do it too. I mean, last week at the picnic, I told everybody that Betty's son was going to jail. And I found out he's going to Yale. <laughs> well, so. I don't know what happened to us. You know who's really bad at gossip? Who? I'm sure there's nobody here like that. But there may be somebody you know that you can pray for. I would like to invite some of my friends. You know, God gives us lots of good friends. And he gives them to us so we can learn from each other, so we can encourage each other. And so this morning, it's my privilege to invite Pastor Shawnee Sloss and Pastor Frida Newhoff. I want to always say Tim Brinkle, but i got to remember not to do that. And Pastor Tanya Meikle. She brought her cheering committee with her. <laughs> and we're just going to share with you for a few moments. In, first, in uh, Samuel chapter 30, Israel was in a bad way. The enemy was overtaking them. And David started to inquire of the Lord. When you're in a problem, it's good to talk to Jesus. And as he talked to him, he said, what should we do? And the Lord confirmed in his heart that the army should rise up. They should pursue the enemy. They should overtake the enemy so that they would recover all. So this morning, we're just going to share some thoughts with you about the, that scripture. So, Shawnee. I was like, I can't sit down if we're going to talk about recovering all. Good morning. This is so exciting. And I just want to say we just really honor you and celebrate with you on this new facility. Let's just thank the Lord. Amen. It's awesome. So, um, so we're going to talk about the bad scenario. Pastor Jill already sort of alluded to it in first, you can, you can check it up sometime yourself, but in first Samuel chapter 30 and verse eight, um, it's basically talking how, uh, well, we actually are not going to get there first, but in verse 6, um, it says that, i got to find it, actually. I have it right here. All right. Anyhow, so basically, I'm going to tell you the bad scenario. So here we are. David had just come back from battle, and then he goes back home. He's looking to rest. He's looking to find his wives. I don't know why, but anyhow, he's got two happening. But anyhow, for the sake of the story, that's what it's in. And he's going to go back and see his children, but when he gets back, no one's home. Everything's been burned. Everything's been taken. They've not been killed, but they've been stolen, and they've been, they're being held captive. And so here, David gets back looking for refuge, and he finds this. And can you imagine all the men, okay, are getting back? That's a bad day. You've been at war. Your, wife are gone, your, your wives are gone. Your children are gone. There's no comfort, nothing. So they get stressed out, and the Bible says they were distressed, and basically, they were stressed out. Now, I know some women, when, like when I stress out, it's a bad day. Can you imagine a whole bunch of men with all that testosterone stressing out? Not good. Basically, it got so bad that they said to David, we're going to stone you. So David was in a, in, in a place of, you know, where he's like in a rock and between a hard and a rock, rock and a hard place. And um, he said, you know what? I am going to strengthen myself in the Lord. That's what verse 6 actually says. So when all this is going on, lots of stress, he says, but David strengthened himself in the Lord. So that's where this begins. That's where the recovery begins, uh, is, is going and strengthening yourself. Because really, when you think of it, um, how did he do that? I bet you he raised his hands. He raised his hands and began to praise God and say, thank you, Lord, for that victory. Thank you for that victory you gave me over David and Goliath. You know, sorry, over Goliath, sorry. Thank you for that victory that you gave me with that bear. Thank you for that victory that you gave me with that lion. And he began to praise God. He began to lift his hands. And because he knew that when you praise God, 
That's where your strength comes from. Because the joy of the Lord, Nehemiah 10, is your strength. And in the presence of the Lord, there is a fullness of joy. So he began to praise. He began to praise. He began to lift up. And so I know you want to do that right now. Come on, let's lift up our hands and just praise him. Hallelujah. We praise you, God, for who you are, all that you've done already. And we're just like in the morning already. We've only had a few hours. Lord, we praise you. But out of that place of praise, which is a total better heart posture, okay, because he was stressed out. If he would have gone and inquired of the Lord in that place, I don't know if he would have heard what he heard in that verse. But he, he began to praise God. And then because of that heart posture, when he went and inquired of the Lord, the Lord said, go, pursue. Surely, you shall surely overtake them and without fail recover all. And so he, he basically was praying, Lord, what should I do? Which, we, I mean, we, we get that all the time, right? We're, we're saying to the Lord, what should we do in this situation, that situation? Not everything, you know, do you find the exact thing, you know, what about my kid freaking out or not, you know, not doing well in school. You don't quite find that exactly in the scriptures, but you do find principles that you can apply to those situations, right? And so, oh man, I'm so excited. I got to get this out. Okay. So this is so, so exciting. Um, but when I was like looking at this, I thought, you know what, this situation of Ziklag, it sounds a lot like Jesus going to the cross for us. And he wasn't about, you know, just a little bit, uh, a little dabble, do you? He was like, you know what? I'm going to the cross. And what did he say on the cross? It is finished. That sounds to me like I did it. I went, I pursued, I overtook, I recovered all. And if Jesus has recovered all for us, I want to have everything that he has recovered in my life to the fullness. And that brings me to the scripture in John chapter 10 and verse 10. It's from the Amplified. I'm going to read it here. The thief comes. Okay, this is his job description. Only to kill, steal, kill, destroy. Does that sound like Ziklag? They, were, they had stolen their wives. They had burned their city, right? And what was the ultimate purpose? To destroy, to annihilate, to kill. But listen. Jesus says, I came that they may have life and enjoy life. That's Jesus' end goal for you today, to enjoy life. I like that way better, do you? <laughs> and have it in abundance, and that means to the full until it overflows. Come on. Come on, do that. Till the full, till it overflows. And one more time. To the full, until it overflows. Come on. Let's do a yay God like we heard last night. So this story in 1 Samuel chapter 30 is a total, total picture of Jesus dying on the cross, what he did. What he, and it's not just, again, a little dab, a little bit of salvation. Oh, okay, a, a little bit, like maybe your sister got saved now, or, or maybe your, your husband has just gotten saved now, or just a little bit, okay, you're starting to walk in freedom, you're starting to raise your hand a little bit, or you're starting to pray, or you're starting to... No, he says, you know what? I'm into total recovery. I'm into total recovery of everything that the enemy has stolen. Amen? And so when I think of that, God wants us to enjoy life and have it to the abundance, to the full, till it overflows. That sounds like recover all to me. And because we are his and we rightfully belong to him, we are not the enemies. The enemy is under our feet forever. <laughs> Hallelujah. And so just to wrap this up, basically just God wants us fully living, fully free, fully alive, fully feeling, fully resolved to serve Jesus. And so you might be saying, Lord, what should I do? Should I keep fighting in a situation? Should I keep believing? Should I keep praying about this thing? And I want to encourage you today that the Lord is, is wanting to just, you know, just to spur you on to say, pursue Go, pursue, you're going to recover all. And, and know this, that breakthrough is coming. I woke up with that song, it's a Brit Nicole song again, but breakthrough. And, uh, and it was actually all about fear and things like that, trying to hold you back. But breakthrough is coming, and you can see it, and maybe you can't, but you know what, I'm going to tell you, I can see it. Go, go for it, girl. Amen? So God bless you. Praise God. I get a chance. You know, have you ever had a time that those 100, 900 chariots were down your back? I've been there a few times. What is it? You know, and they're noisy. 
And they try and black out everything that God has told you because you're looking at the natural situation. I was in that place a long time ago, but I've been in there recently. So this is a fresh message from God. Psalm 37. You know, I had struggled and struggled, and I couldn't get out of it, and the Lord gave me Psalm 37. I want to read some of it to you. Jehovah, or the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Hallelujah. We don't have to fear anything. The Lord, the Lord, he is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, my enemies and my foes came on to eat up my flesh. It comes to eat up your flesh, but not your spirit. So encourage yourself in the Lord. You know, I meditated. Everybody knows how to worry, right? Well, meditation is worrying in reverse. You, we, we meditate on the goodness of God. And sometimes we have to go a little bit back and find out the places where God has blessed us and ministered to us. And then we start to get thankful because a thankful heart is what God wants. And we start rejoicing. And it says, teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. You know, when I meditated on that psalm, the situation didn't immediately change, but I changed. Instead of looking from here, I looked from there. And God let me overcome. Praise the Lord. You know, I'm reminded of Shammah. You know, he was one of David's mighty men. And he got sick and tired of the enemy coming in and stealing the crops. And one day he got by himself with his sword. How many ladies have a sword? I have a sword. It comes out of our mouth. But a lot of times we defeat ourselves with the words we speak. We need to get into our lantern patch and take that sword and say, enemy, no more. This is it. No further. You are stopping now. And you know, God will give you the, the uh, peace and the strength to go on. The Bible says, I will go. I will go. You're not staying. I will go in the strength of the Lord my God. That's where we're supposed to be. Ladies, let me all say it. I will go, I will go in the strength of the Lord my God, and he is a mighty deliverer. We sang this morning, amazing grace. That's God's willingness to use his power on your behalf, on my behalf. Nobody is excluded, unending love. That's as long as we live, we have his love to sustain us. God bless you. Amen. How do you follow that? We just say amen. We sit down and we say we got some good food. Amen. Thank you both ladies. Special thanks to you, Pastor Jill, for inviting me here to just share for a brief moment. And what a beautiful sanctuary you guys have. Congratulations to everybody at BCF. Congratulations to you. I just want you to quickly turn to your neighbor. I want you to tell them, say, uh, I'm phenomenal. <laughs> say, I'm fantastic. <laughs> and now say, I'm super fabulous. Super fabulous. <laughs> and now I want you to tell them that I am all together amazing. I'm altogether amazing. And you should thank God that you got the opportunity to sit beside me today. <laughs> Somebody ought to thank God in here this morning. You're sitting beside a world changer this morning. You're sitting beside a woman of God who is going to turn this world upside down. And sometimes we forget to appreciate because we're competing with one another. And we should just take a moment to appreciate that super fabulous girl that is sitting beside you this morning. Give her a high five. Say, you are super fabulous, girl. 
You are super fabulous. Hallelujah. I was so nervous this morning. I woke up and I, it just hit me. There was four points. There was arise, pursue, overtake, and recover all. And, and I don't know what happened about 8 a.m. this morning. I was preparing and I prepared on the first two points. And I'm like, okay, I'm feeling good about this. Okay, I think I can share this for 10 minutes about the first two points. But about 8 o'clock this morning, I was just laying down before the Lord. And something said to me, hang on a second. There's four ladies speaking. There's four points. I'm the last one. Could it be possible I'm supposed to do overtake? Oh, no, uh, recover all? And I said to myself, oh, Lord God Almighty, start speaking in other tongues, Lord, because I didn't do the fourth point. I didn't work on the fourth point. It was 8 a.m. in the morning. And I said, oh, God, please. So I'm just waiting for the first lady to go up because I'm like, oh, please, don't, please, 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 God, don't let her just do one point. Let her do all of them so that, you know, I know I'm covered, right? So thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jill. I didn't misunderstand your email this morning hallelujah because I was just like oh dang I'm gonna have to rely on the Holy Ghost up in here this morning but we should anyways right we should rely on the Holy Ghost this morning so you know I just wanted to quickly go through these points I do have a limited amount of time but I did want to give you a quick update last time I was here who was here last year Oh, yeah. Awesome. We had a great time here last year. I had an opportunity to share uh, one of these sessions, and it was great. So I just want to quickly bring you up to date on my super family. Is that okay? Two minutes. Can I take one and a half? No, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. My daughter, Brianna, superwoman, w uh, walked at seven and a half months, was reading by two years old, is started university at 16 years of age this fall. So, yeah. I'm very proud of her. She, um, she uh, is on track. In, she's in the, the, the life sciences program, which is very difficult, physics, mathematics, sci, uh, you know, biology, chemistry, physics, all those. She's on track for a 90 average this semester. I got to give props to where props is due. <laughs> My husband, Superman, he uh, since last year actually got a promotion. How many know that when you, when you walk with God and you do what God is asking you to do and you live at a level of obedience and integrity, that God will take those things that are low and he will raise them up high. Those who are humble, he said, I will exalt. And so last year, my husband was the CIO for the city of Brampton. Since I've been with you last time, he has actually been promoted to the CIO for the city, uh, the first largest city in Canada, the city of Toronto, fourth largest city in North America he won three big awards this year top 100 CIO in all of the world so of all the CIOs in all the world he was named one of the top 100 also won a few other awards this year so my Superman my husband is doing great thank you guys for your prayer and then amen somebody was asking me about my son and you know that he was diagnosed with a incurable disease at nine years old and he's, he's my Batman because I said he doesn't have any superpowers per se, but he's my hero because he lives with this disease every single day, is dependent on a pump to, to pump in insulin just to keep him uh, alive and well. And I just wanted to encourage you, last year he played soccer, he, he started on his team, they won Ontario Cup. This year they not only were first place in Ontario, but was, uh, they won the cup for Ontario and Quebec. And so he's just going from one thing to another. But his greatest achievement is that he, this summer, said he learned something from God. He went on a retreat and came back, and he said, I've learned something from God. He spoke to me. He said, this disease no longer rules me. I now rule this disease. How many minutes do I have? Amen. So I just want to quickly go through this. The, 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 the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. We heard that talked about this morning. That word steal is klepto. The original word comes from the word klepto. He's a kleptomaniac. All right, this morning, you need to know he is not your pal, your buddy, your friend. He is a liar, and he was a liar from the very beginning, and he is the father of all lies. And he is a kleptomaniac, and what he has done in each and every one of us, what he did to David and his men, was he tried to discourage them by stealing, killing, and destroying the very things that they had a right to in God. The very things. And so when you think this morning, what do I have a right to in God? If you don't know who you are this morning, you might settle for what you have. 
If you don't know who you are in Christ Jesus, what you are designed to do, what you were created for, what your destiny is, then you will settle for what you currently have. But I want you to know that God has something more in store. Somebody said God has something more in store this morning. And if you don't know who you are, you won't know what it is. If you think I, I'm, I'm, I'm destined to, to, to be in poverty, I'm destined to have issues with my husband, I'm destined, this is just my lot in life, and I guess I'm just going to have to receive it, that is when you have to re- recognize and make a decision that that is a lie from the devil, and everything that God has for you is for you. Amen. So he has come to kill, steal, and destroy your life. That destroy word means to make you ineffective. We think it means to like utterly destroy where you can't even, you know, where you're just done, you're finished. But I want you to know if he can make you ineffective. That word, the the root word is ineffective. If he can make you ineffective, he's already won the battle. And the problem that we have come to, and I'm, I want to talk about this. Can I be a little real? Can we be girlfriends in here this morning? Is that all right if we're girlfriends? I, I'm telling you, I, I, I'm at an age now where I don't care. I'm rocking the skinny jeans right now. And you know what? I said, if I can't do it now, trust me, I ain't going to be doing it when I'm 75. I might as well rock the skinny jeans now, right? Hey, is that the truth? Let me tell you. If, if you're 20 right now, and you're like, oh, God, I don't like my body, wait till you're 40, all right? Wait till you're 40. Your body is rocking. It doesn't get any better after that. I'm telling you, every 10 years is more difficult to keep the tiny waist. And So I don't care. I said, I'm going to be real this morning because I feel like you're all my family. I feel like you're all my girlfriends this morning. And so I I'm just want to be real up in here. And sometimes we think, well, David returned. We heard the story. He came to Ziklag. That's where all the families were of his people. And when he got there and saw the buildings burning, he could have said, oh, God, this is it. This is, we're down. We're down for the count. And sometimes we think that when stuff happens in our lives, in our homes, in our situations, that we are down. I want to tell you this morning, it is a lie from the devil. Just because you're down doesn't mean you are out. Come on now. Just because you're down doesn't mean you're out. I'm not a fan of boxing, but I know if they hit the guy and he goes down, he has a count of 10 to get back up. And some of you might be on count number eight, count number nine, and you might think, oh God, I am not going to get up from this thing. Well, the devil is a liar this morning because Jesus was down for the count. They were counting it down. They thought nine, he is not coming out of that tomb. But I'll tell you, on the third day, On the third day, before count number 10, he rose up from the dead. And so there were some men with David, and they they, they didn't go go to pursue because they didn't make a decision in their mind. They thought they had been out for the count. Their family's gone. I think those 300 or so that stayed back, I think that they thought their families were dead. They gave up hope. They made a decision in their mind that it's over. I'm down for the count. It's finished. And they stayed back. But there were some men among them that said, you know what? We will pursue. We will will, will get up. We will pursue. We will overtake them. And we will get back everything that belongs to us. And so I know you might grow weary. You know, good, bad things actually do happen to good people. You know, we're so quick to judge one another when sister so-and-so, sister A went through all of this stuff and she must have sin in her life and she must have done something wrong because why would God let those things happen to her? Sister B, you need to be careful about judging sister A because maybe sister A went through what she went through because sister B is going to go through it in two years and sister A is going to be there to be a comfort to her and to speak the word of God because she's been through it already. And so don't be quick to judge Sister A. And they wanted to be quick to judge those who stayed back. But you know what? There are a few among us, I believe this morning, who are willing to make a decision, a conscious decision, that I'm going to get up. I'm going to get up from whatever I'm in. I was down, and I might have thought I was out. But this morning, I'm going to make a determination and a decision that I'm going to get up. Push your neighbor and say, get up this morning, girl. Get up. Get up. Get up, get up, get up. That's the word to you this morning because if you don't ever get up, you can't pursue, right? I 
can't pursue from my bed. I can't pursue when I'm sitting down. I can't overtake if I haven't got up. Somebody needs to make a decision this morning to get up. Somebody needs to prophetically this morning stand up in your seat. And you need to say, devil, I'm looking at you this morning. And if you see me get up, that means I'm about to pursue you. And if I pursue you, I'm going to overtake you. And if I overtake you, guess what? I'm going to get back everything that belongs to me. Amen. Give God some praise in this house this morning. So when you make a decision to do something, you need an open door to walk through. Ushers, would you hand out the sheets? So this morning, I'm going to give you an opportunity. Because every time God opens our heart to his word, every time he gives us an opportunity to respond, we need something to do. So I am giving you an opportunity to step out of your shell, to step out of your comfort zone, and go out on missions and make a difference in this world for other people. If you're free in April, you can come with me and Pastor Kathleen to Cuba. Cuba is a communist country. The gospel is not free in Cuba, but God is moving mightily in the church in Cuba. Young people are getting saved yet left and right. They are passionate for Jesus, and they don't care what's said in their country. They are going to witness and win people for Jesus, and we have the privilege of going. Pastor Harrison has been invited by the head officials of the Cuban medical team to come and speak in their hospitals to their staff. I tell you, God is opening doors, and we want to position ourselves that when that government falls, we can move in and take that land for Jesus. So if you're free in April and you want to come, you sign up. God is doing wonderful things. In June, I am taking women, the first women that sign up. I am taking, we've rent Pastor Brian that was up here as God as a coach, and we are heading to New York City. We are going into the Bronx. We are going to the biggest woman's shelter in that whole city, and we are going to give them a makeover. We are going to bless them, and we are going to share our life stories with them so that they can know the Jesus that will change their life the way he's changed our life. Then next January 2015, it, as many of you know, I travel to India a lot, and it is their 25th anniversary of their women's conference, and they want to celebrate. So I'm going to take whoever wants to come with me, and we are going to go, and we are going to help them celebrate Jesus and share with them and then go into some of the other areas. Uh, my friend's son is just planting a new church in Gurgaon, India, which is just outside of New Delhi. It is a huge westernized city. Every western computer company is there. The malls look like America malls. And just like America and Canada, they're busy with materialism and they don't know Jesus. So we're going to take Jesus to them. So if any of those trips interest you, just write your name down and I'll get the packages to you. Because you see, when God changes our heart, he doesn't change it just for our family. He doesn't change it just so we can have stuff and have blessings in our life. He changes it so we can take it to others and we can make a difference in this world that this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world and then Jesus will come back. So ladies, we have some work to do. So today you've been yelling, you've been clapping, you've been agreeing. Arise, pursue overtake and recover all. So if you want to join me, just write your name down and we'll go and I tell you, Jesus will do wonderful things and you will never be the same. Sarah, are you, is that you over there, Sarah? No, where's Sarah? Is Sarah anywhere in here? Sarah Dion, where are you? Are you here? Maybe she ran out for a minute. She was one of the girls dancing, the young girls dancing and Sarah Jean, are you here? Jean, her mom, is a single mom doing a wonderful job training her daughter up in the ways of Jesus. And every time I do a missions trip for young people, 
Sarah signs up. That little girl makes jewelry. She does whatever she can. And every single time, God has made the way for her to go on a trip, no matter what the cost is. Because she is passionate about serving Jesus. So I want to encourage you. The devil will tell you your state will stop you from going ahead. But Jesus is the great provider. If he can take a little girl that came from England and take her all over the world, he can do whatever you need if you will trust him. So today, let's look for opportunities. Look for opportunities with your neighbors. Look for opportunities. Many of you are from other local churches. Look for opportunities in your church. Look for opportunities at the bank and grocery store. Look for opportunities to serve Jesus wherever you are, whatever you're doing. A while ago, I was in a grocery store. And, you know, I go to the grocery store to get groceries and get out because I really don't like cooking and I don't like groceries. But, you know, we have to eat. And I started asking God to help me to be more of a witness for him. And as I was standing in line, the person in front of me was talking to the person behind me about the criminal system in Canada. And as I listened to them, I realized they were prison guards. And they were saying how there was no hope. And, and things were getting so bad, and they were going on. And I'm standing there thinking I should say something. And finally, I kind of, they, they kind of stopped. So I said, well, I think, you know, there may be an answer. And the one person looked at me, and they said, what would someone like you know about prison? But you see, they didn't know that my mother worked in the prison system. They didn't know that my mother would take me in there. And she would sit me down at the piano, and she would say, practice your hymns. I did not play like Pastor Amber. I still don't play like Pastor Amber. And I would practice my three-chord hymns, and she would bring in the inmates and lock them in the room with me <laughs> while she went to do something else. So I have learned a little bit about the prison system. I have taken teams into maximum security prison, Williams Head and Victoria. I've been in other prisons around the world. So I know a little bit about prison systems. And what I learned that day is God will always have people by you that you can relate to. There will always be something in your heart that you can give to them if you will but open your mouth. So I am encouraging you today. We heard about fear last night. We are not going to be women of fear, but we are going to be women that trust Jesus, trust and obey, for there is no other way. So we're going to arise we're going to pursue God so that we can overtake and recover all that God has for us. That means every soul for the kingdom of God that he has marked for you and I to reach. We will reach them. Are you with me? Great is the company of women that proclaim the good news. So I'm sure right now you're all ready for a little break. So what we're going to do if they, they'll put the lights up a bit. And if you need to run for a comfort break, you just get up and go. If you don't need a comfort break, just stay in your seat and a snack is being brought to you. Okay? And get ready because in a few minutes, you're not going to want to miss what you're going to hear. <laughs> 